Hi everyone, Katherine Winji here. Today we're going to be practicing aqua vakasana or tree pose in the pool. Why practice this pose or really any pose in the pool? Well, we're deeply connected to the water as being human beings. We're mostly made of water. The planet's mostly made of water. When we submerge our bodies in the water, we increase circulation and decrease inflammation and set our nervous systems into a state of rest and digest. Tree pose is an important pose to practice as we age, as it cultivates balance, concentration, glute and hip strength and stability. Practicing this pose in the pool allows us to enjoy all these benefits while supporting weak muscles and there's no fear of falling. This extra support is something that we could all eventually use as injury, illness, and age is just part of the human experience. Whether you're looking for extra support or just a new way to practice yoga, aqua yoga is a powerful way to practice yoga. Thanks so much for checking this video out. Enjoy. Before coming into tree pose, let's do a quick hip warm up, doing some hip isolations. Stand close to the wall. You can hold on to the wall if you like for balance and then lifting and bending one knee. You're going to internally and externally rotate that thigh bone. As you do this, it's going to be almost as if you're drawing a reclined figure eight with your kneecap. Rotating inner thigh down and in, then rotating inner thigh out and up. Continue to breathe smoothly. Second side, opposite knee lifts. Again, inner thigh rolls down and in, inner thigh rolls up and out. And stabilizing the rest of the body. Tummy can tone in to help with this. Let these movements be as small as they need to be in order to feel smooth and mindful. Mountain pose. Stand with feet parallel, directly underneath your hips arms alongside the body. Press all corners of your feet into the floor with intention, drawing your thigh bones slightly back. And imagine that you have a little anchor hanging from your tailbone and it's helping drawing it down. At the same time, draw your low belly in and vertically lift your heart away from your hips. Shoulders remain soft drawing neck and head back slightly so that the ears are now in line with your shoulders. Feel the strength of this posture. Tree pose. Standing with your left side facing the pool wall, ground down through the right foot, bending left knee, swing it open. Foot gently presses on the inseam of your standing leg just below the knee. Avoid leaning on the wall. Keep your weight in your standing leg. Bring your gaze somewhere eye level in front of you to help with balance. Now, just like we did in mountain pose, we want our standing leg thigh to be drawing back slightly as we imagine we have that anchor attached to our tailbone, drawing it down. Draw the tummy in and vertically extend your heart away from the waist. Palms can remain together at your heart, or if you like, extend them overhead. Take one more slow breath. Second side, ground both feet, turn around, face opposite direction. Fixing your gaze somewhere eye level directly in front of you. As you swing the right knee open into the wall, placing the foot just below your standing leg knee. We're using the wall to help remind us to keep that knee swinging open very gently though. Please avoid over gripping in the outer hip here. And feel the earth underneath your standing foot as you draw the thigh bone back, lifting the heart away from the hip. Be sure to keep weight in your standing leg as you take a few more breaths in this pose. and then landing both feet. We're gonna finish with a counter pose to help broaden the hips. 
the low back and release any gripping that may have occurred during tree pose. It's called hero pose or virasana. Bend knees with your rear anchored against the wall. Take your feet about shoulder width distance apart and then swing the knees in so that they can gently rest upon each other. Heels can be off the floor or on the floor. If you're experiencing any knee pain or the thighs aren't touching, you may need to bring your feet just a little bit closer together. The main purpose of this pose is to spiral your inner thighs down towards the floor so that the outer hips broaden. Feel free to stay in this posture as long as you like. Namaste.